in the course of um, Razor's investigation, it took him to the morgue. And well, here's what happened. For me. You're not getting out of here. Unless I And there are you so. if you come any closer. No, you're gonna come with me. Willingly. Or what? Or I'll keep you down here forever and Well <laughs> Let's just say you don't want to end up with the bodies in the next room. Listen. <laughs> You're feeling the effects, good. It, but it works. <laughs> oh, Mr. Razor. I'm not gonna hurt you. How can I be so sure? Warmed. Have a little faith. Given the things I've seen, no. Do you wanna have this little stalemate? Or would you rather learn some truths? You can pick one or the other. can get the truth out of you. Shall we? to uh, somewhere very interesting. Alright, let's carry you.
Part of me is, yeah. Really, all of me. Is that the only thing on my mind right now? <sighs> Don't worry. Everything will be returned to you once we're done. What'd you take? What did you take? You're going to be... Notice that you are without a gun, without a radio, and without your phone. My hands. Your hands and feet are bound. Let's just say... What are those? They're these files. Once that I stole and the police didn't give a shit. <laughs> Case files? No. Morgue files. Morgue files. I had some time to go through them. What do you have to learn from dead bodies? Let's just say... They're... Impertinent to case files of your detectives. You and your fellow detectives, that is. Been studying their methods, how they died, and impertinent to your case files that were stolen. Putting pieces together, getting to know my new adversaries. Well, our adversaries. Don't lump me in with you. You're a detective. You're one of the adversaries. I am? Or... Start... <clears throat> my head. Okay. You said our adversaries, as in you and me, or as our the crows? little, little birdies. <laughs> I mean... G'day. Okay. It's story time. For God, I promise Come you on. story time. <laughs> we got to the chase. Fair enough. Okay, so... so if you have a story, I'll probably find it on my own. Once One upon a time. There was little old me. Took somebody hostage, a little cowboy from Legion. Took him around, took all the shit. Sped towards the highway, got unwanted attention. They chased me all the way to Polito, to a little hospital there. We bartered and talked. And they made deals of sorts. Let's just say I don't like liars and... Well, none of us do. They tricked me, you see, and... I'm not too happy about it. They chased me again. Shot me. Took me to the hospital. And then took me to jail. All the while, I had said to them, 
that <laughs> there's a house with the family, an innocent, innocent family that was rigged to explode if I was to be followed or captured. And they may have saved them then. But unfortunately, all four of them are lying down inside of body bags inside of that morgue. Either way, they were gonna die. But long story short, your officer showed me that, that I could be tricked, and I really liked that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, a few of you have been tricked a couple times, but they usually don't live to tell the tale. Of course not. That makes sense, though. Anyone dumb enough to get tricked probably won't last long in your little organization. No. But unfortunately for you guys, I wanted to be tricked. You mm. see, it was all a ruse. <laughs> to do what? To learn. You see, I would like to know how things operate. We would like to know how things operate. And Mr. Dan Hunter, who... <laughs> Dan Hunter? He was chosen very specifically for this. An officer or one of you? Or a victim? Oh, he's an officer. Uh-huh. What's his call yeah. sign? <laughs> What's his call sign? Charlie L4. You see, I repicked him specifically because he was never really tied to the cases that you guys are following, but he was a detective nonetheless. He was the mm -hmm. one that shot me. Oh. And how did you get shot? <laughs> Pulled a gun. see <laughs> hmm. and I I tried to talk to them make them understand but it seems to me that they're frustrated that we haven't been straightforward with how their the cases have been going you know and I apologize for that You're apologizing for making our jobs harder? Yes, I am. My job's pretty tough right now, I'm not gonna lie. If you're tied up and at my mercy, of course your job is tough. Yeah, so when can I expect an apology for this? Oh, you'll get one, don't worry. <laughs> oh. Will it be? publicly will it, will it be publicly broadcast after I'm dead or will it be delivered to me in the mail oh, you, how's this gonna you're work not dying. okay mm -hmm. I'll make that perfectly clear yeah. Please. made a few lists I know uh, I'm honestly surprised it hasn't happened yet um. what noise are you making back there <laughs> Is that glass? I hope you're pouring a martini, because I fucking need one. You need a martini. <sighs> Not the kind of cocktail you're getting ready over there. Oh no.
so. <sighs> kind of squeamish around needles, just in case you need to know my medical history. Of course. How far is this going to get me? You both know you wouldn't want to hurt me, now. Who said I'm going to hurt you, Detective? Well, your actions speak a little louder than words. There it is. I told you, Detective, if I wanted you dead, you would be. Mm-hmm. That only goes so far. You come here, you get the setup, you have your little monologue. I mean, you I have me to deliver. Hey, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm you not. already told me what you wanted to tell me. It seems like so. Once you get whatever you want across, you know, then my need to be alive is over. I, mean, I, I go back to the you. station. I document this. I go home. Oh, there's a bomb in my mailbox. So there's this mine underneath my doormat. You know. No. So, what is it? A matter of time. You see, Detective, this is what I tried to tell them earlier. You're not my target. I'm someone's target, aren't I? You are. Just like each Just not yours. single detective has a person that is, has been asked to take them out. You are not mine. And that's uh, so I who's... Touch you. Who do I belong to? Someone very special. Someone very special. Sounds like a lot of people. No. Someone, Someone I know? Special. No. I've met? No. You know me. I know of you. Do they have a timeline for this or anything? Or... Okay. So whatever you're gonna do, you don't have to do it. Not necessarily. I don't have anything good I can I don't have any good reasons to tell you why you shouldn't do it, but other than the usual, I'll find you, I'll get you for this, somebody will. You're going down. <laughs> I already know that. Well, I haven't met a single one of you that wasn't fully aware of the consequences. I am fully aware of the consequences, Detective. Exactly. But the question is, are you? <laughs> I'm in this deep. Really? If I wanted out, I would have done that a few months ago. No one's really? coming to me. I just have to be on my toes so I can stop it, because I know it's inevitable. But I can change the outcome once the ball gets going. Um, and I'll be very happy and excited to see you try. I bet you want nothing more than for me to fail. Oh no, I want you to succeed. Really? We all do. We want you to. And why is that? Succeed. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to find out, Detective. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think's in here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe an anesthetic. Uh, laughing, laughing gas. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some painkillers. No, nothing of that oh, sort. Nothing of that sort. Some kind of uh, wolf spain. No. You see, when you're killed, you're gonna be killed. Your if I'm killed. When you're killed. You're gonna, gonna have every on... ample and an opportunity to fight back. I'm gonna be on my feet. Exactly. Uh huh. We'll fight back. I'll tell you what's in here, Detective. It's I'll exactly. tell you. Oh, great. I'll tell you right now. If, not when, if I go, I'm not going quietly. We expect that is a to promise. Know that. And if I know I'm going, and if I see it coming ahead of time, 
and all bets are off. This badge doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> all right, detective. It's time. I will see. walk through hell before I die, making sure that I take at least ten of you down with me. Premeditated, drowning, burning alive, car bombs, you don't I you you don't know what I'm capable of. Of course, detective. If I so much as have a single reason to believe that my time is up, then I want you to know and I want every single one of you to be afraid. As I said, Detective, we expect no less. 